Hi, it's Dr. Nimichek. Uh, I want to talk to you about anxiety, okay, and um, how we look at it here and, and uh, deal with the problem. Now, anxiety is a fairly common, normal, physical response, all right? It's really designed to keep a primitive hunter-gatherer alive in the jungle, okay? So, but in modern context, if somebody points a gun at you, they want your money, you ought to be anxious. It's a normal thing. Trouble paying the bills, you might be anxious. Trouble at work or whatever, you might be anxious, okay? So, given a normal uh, circumstance that's threatening in some way, you're going to feel anxiety. And how does that happen? That is a chemical called noradrenaline, okay? It is your, it's often referred to as your fight and flight hormone, all right? Fight, you know, grumpy, angry, aggressive, flight, panicky, run, nervous, all right? Now, so somebody points a gun at you, they want your money, you release noradrenaline, that's what makes you feel that way, you know? Either if they're close, you fight, if they're far away, you run like heck, okay? It's from a chemical. Now, other things can do this to people. And uh, sometimes, and, and that's how we're gonna look at all of these different forms of anxiety. So now, there are some people that had some unusual circumstance, like uh, I know a person who had a bat get in their hair and flutter around, and it created almost like a PTSD trigger, all right? And now whenever this person, uh, now you can imagine how anxious you would be with that, but now this person, anytime they hear a bird flutter, they have the surge of noradrenaline and they'll have a panic attack, all right? Even though they know it's just a sparrow, okay? This is an abnormal release of noradrenaline, okay? It's the chemical that makes them do that. Now, uh, we can fix her PTSD kind of thing with, uh, the Nimichek protocol make that go away. But my point is, you know, some people it's dogs, some people it's clowns, it can be birds, it can be spiders, it can be different things. These kind of exaggerated reactions we have are because we're releasing the same chemical that we release when somebody points a gun at you. All right, now, there's a part of the brain called the amygdala. It regulates fear and anger, okay? It can be damaged in a significant concussion. All right, and if it is, you're now just flooding the body continually with noradrenaline. And these people need on medications. If you can get the brain to recover, um, then that will go away. Third is your intestinal bacteria. This is kind of interesting. Now, we're learning that you need a normal balance of intestinal bacteria for your anxiety be, to be regulated correctly. Um, now, if you take a mouse, and, and this even goes into other animals in, in terms of their, uh, it looks like their, how they regulate the fear of their natural predator. So if you take a mouse who's naturally afraid of a cat and you get rid of all their bacteria, suddenly the mouse is not afraid of the cat anymore and he'll walk right up to him and, you know, unfortunate, cat will eat him. Now, you take a mouse and you disrupt the balance of bacteria, it's called bacterial overgrowth, and that's where bacteria in the colon now are living up in the small intestine. They're normally very different uh, bacteria. Normally, you have about 100 million times the concentration of bacteria in the colon as you do in the small intestine, the upper small intestine. And But when these bacteria move up there, they call the SIBO or bacterial overgrowth. Now, you do this to the mouse, they're intensely anxious. They're like in a full-blown panic attack. They even have trouble like remembering a food maze to get their food because they're so anxious. So the bacteria modulate our anxiety and can trigger this release of noradrenaline, all right, if you have an overgrowth of bacteria. And now when you think about it, you know, we have all these things. I had a gut feeling, you know, that such and such, like you were worried about a scenario, but we say, I had a gut, an intestinal tract feeling. We even can sense it that it's being driven out of the intestinal tract some. Or people think they have a nervous stomach because if they're, say they have to give a presentation and beforehand they get some cramping and diarrhea or something, they think the stress of the 
uh, scenario cause the diarrhea. Actually, the stress, the scenario causes the bacteria to go off. They make you anxious. So instead of a nervous stomach, people really have a stomach nervous. Okay. And then the final way that we can abnormally uh, trigger anxiety is what I've been talking about in other posts where so here's your head, okay, when your autonomic nervous system is damaged, you have trouble pushing blood pressure into your brain. Your brain doesn't get enough oxygen, and your brain thinks it's going to die. Even though you feel a little woozy, your brain thinks it's going to die. And one of the ways the brain can deal with this is by releasing noradrenaline. It'll boost blood pressure to your head. Now, what's strange about this is you could be sitting in a car or an Italian restaurant or trying to watch a movie on the sofa, and you, you basically are going into a full-on panic attack and you have no understanding why. So, uh, so anxiety, it's from a release of noradrenaline. Sometimes it's normal, okay? Sometimes we have some associated things like birds or clowns or it's from a brain injury, or it's from a gut bacteria, or it's from damage to your autonomic nervous system. They all make you feel anxious because they all release noradrenaline. Fortunately, the Pneumacheck protocol can fix all of these things and with just high dose DHA, fish oil, olive oil, vagal stimulation, fixing the gut bacteria and virtually all of these things will go away uh, except for normal engaging anxiety. So I hope you find that helpful. Have a great day.